and you can really see this when you see people that say, you know, they kind of have the attitude of, oh, I don't care. Those people don't have any power. Lost eighth principle, and it's the principle of care, or also known as the generative principle. And if you're not familiar with Mark Passio's work, please, please do yourself a favor and go to whatonearthishappening.com and take the time and attention to look at all the information that man has put out. It, I, I can't put it into words, just please go look at his work. And I think he did a really amazing job of, of bringing this up. So the eighth principle is the lost principle of care. The generative ability shows that we what we care about drives us and what we care about is what we create. Our power of creation comes from our care. And without care, we are without power. So what you care about is created because when if you're out of alignment with yourself, if your thoughts, your emotions, your actions are not in alignment, you're just going to create chaos. So taking the time to bring yourself into alignment and then to apply that care is that's what generates and helps create. Um, and that's something that needs to be understood because and you can really see this when you see people that say, you know, they kind of have the attitude of, oh, I don't care. Those people don't have any power. That's what they're really saying is they have no power. So coming into alignment with yourself and developing care is the understanding of the lost eighth principle. So what can we do all about this? What is a solution and how we. Well, if you're familiar in the anarchist uh, movement and, and the what you could call the freedom movement. So so many people, um, you know, believe that, you know, we're fighting, they're fighting against a system of oppression and, and there is a system there, but it's there because we have allowed it to be. And it's there because people do not understand this occult knowledge. And the book, in the book, The Kybalion, I think there's a really wonderful passage. And if people just understood this passage, the answer to how to create the world that we want and to take down the systems of control that we do not want, it's all in this passage if you just understand it. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. The half-wise, recognizing the comparative unreality of the universe, imagine that they may defy its laws. Such are vain and presumptuous fools, and they are broken against the rocks and torn asunder by reason of their folly, the truly wise, knowing the nature of the universe, use laws against law, the higher against the lower, and by the art of alchemy, transmute that which is undesirable into that which is worthy, and thus triumph. Mastery consists not in abnormal dreams visions and fantastic imaginings are living but in using the higher forces against the lower escaping the pains of the lower planes by vibrating on the higher transmutation not presumptuous denial is the weapon of the master the kybalion but let's look at this quote a little bit you know there, there's a lot of stuff in here you know um you know first off the half wise you know they imagine that they can defy the its laws they can defy cosmic law natural law and because of that they are vain and presumptuous fools and they destroy themselves by the reason of their own folly they do it to themselves by ignoring laws these laws are in effect in the universe if you ignore them you will destroy yourself because you cannot ignore them you have to understand them. It says the truly wise, knowing through gnosis the nature of the universe, how the universe actually operates, they use laws, the higher laws, the cosmic law, natural law, 
against law, the lower law, man's law. So there you go, anarchists. Like if you want to get rid of the system of control, there's your answer right there. They use laws against law, the higher against the lower. And by the art of alchemy, transmute that which is undesirable into that which is worthy and thus triumph. It's right there. Transmutation, not presumptuous denial, is the weapon of the master. So being able to take something that is undesirable, being able to recognize energy and transmute it into that which you want, that's the true weapon. Just presumptuous denial all the time, not really looking into the arts of gnosis, always denying the occult, like saying none of this really matters, all this presumptuous denial. That That's not how you defeat a system. That's not how you come into knowledge of yourself and knowledge of the, the reality of the universe around you. It's through transmutation. That's how we accomplish this. Thank you.